You prevent war is you prepare for war. A big get for Austin, a major federal project. The United States Army Futures Command will be the only military command site located downtown in a major city. The Army wants Austin to be the hub in creating artificial intelligence and robotics for the battlefield. KXAN's political reporter Phil Prezen is here with how fast this operation will be up and running. Well, Robert and Sydney, one of the first products the military wants out of the Army Futures Command is called a heads-up display. They're going to be about the size of normal eyeglasses, but they'll have night vision, information displays, and recording devices. The Army hopes to have these on soldiers in 24 to 36 months, and that's just the beginning. take to get Texas Republicans and Austin Democrats to say nice things about each other? An 11 billion dollar government program. We all know that today would not be happening without what you have done at the local level. The Army Futures Command will create 100 active military jobs and 400 civilian jobs. Then contracts upon contracts with Austin area businesses. The Futures Command will be housed in the brand new UT System building downtown. Army officials say they chose Austin because of its proximity to innovative companies and academic institutions. We also know that you chose Austin because of what you described as Austin's culture. The number two man in the Senate, Senator John Cornyn, spoke with me this morning and says no longer will the East and West Coasts dominate the decisions on the battlefield. Texas will step up and take more of a share of that responsibility and that load. And frankly, it's because um, the military understands that technology has always been our comparative advantage. And Democrat Lloyd Doggett says that starts with Austin's workforce. Much like the Army, it advances people based on merit, not on ethnicity, not on religion, not on race, but based on merit. It has the people that can make the difference. And Ryan McCarthy, the undersecretary of the Army, tells me state of Texas incentives did help make this deal happen. The University of Texas system gave them a free lease in the downtown building. Then there's a still unnamed incentive deal between the state of Texas and the Army. The details of that continue to be negotiated. Sydney, Robert.